Hello, my name is Anand Narasimhan. I am the Shell Professor of Global Leadership here at IMD. I'm also the Dean of Research and Faculty at IMD. So IMD is a very vibrant institution. Uh, we have a community of faculty that are focused in leadership development. So we do degree programs, but mostly we do a lot of executive leadership development programs. So that's what's exciting to be here. So I work in the area of leadership. Currently, the research that I'm, that I'm looking at is the dynamics of top teams and boards, especially the unconscious dynamics, so, which is very interesting um, and uh, to ordinary people mysterious. So, so my favorite place in the university is, is right here in the, in the lobby of the Maersk building, because this really showcases the facilities that we have for our executive participants, you know, so they get a sense of uh, the high quality of, of education that you get in Switzerland. I didn't uh, choose to move to Switzerland. I actually chose to move to IMD, which is the best in the world in executive education. It happened to be in Switzerland, so it was my good fortune to move to Switzerland as part of the move to IMD. So if I was to show an object that um, symbolizes what I do here and my connection to the university, it's a Russian style uh, doll, but actually, as you can see, it's Indian. It's, it's a lady wearing a sari. And as we know, inside the doll is another doll, so which is precisely the nature of my work in leadership to help people understand their deeper self and, 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 and their unconscious self and how it comes into kind of business situations. So I'm here to tell you about five things that um, remind uh, me of India while I'm here in Switzerland. I mean, one of the most obvious things is, you know, when you go to the hills in India in the Nilgiris or the Himalayas, you know, you're immediately reminded uh, as if you're in Switzerland because almost all of Switzerland is mountainous. So that's the obvious one. But there are some more hidden ones. You know, the, the first one is uh, democracy. I mean, India is the world's largest democracy and the, you know, the biggest uh, experiment we have in democracy. Switzerland is also an interesting experiment in democracy because there is direct democracy and voting every uh, five or six weeks on, on issues which are local and, 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 and national as well. Uh, the second uh, similarity is really kind of social and cultural. Uh, India is a multilingual country and, and unlike other countries that I've been in, Switzerland is another country which is multilingual and there is respect and appreciation of languages besides the one that is your first language. Uh, the third thing is actually um, cows, you know, so, so in India, cows are really venerated and, and respected. And uh, again, in Switzerland, there's a, there's a lot of symbolic reliance on cows. There's also a very uh, healthy dairy industry. Uh, a fourth thing is, is, is really um, the, the importance of, of family and traditions, you know, so, so, so India is a very traditional society and, and closeness of family and respect of family is very important. Likewise, in Switzerland, you know, there is a real um, emphasis on, on, on family life uh, being important. This is seen by, for example, Sundays where businesses and shops are entirely closed. So, so uh, helping you focus on and devoting yourself to family life. Um, the fifth one, I would say, is the respect for professionals and experts and, and hard work and, and meritocracy. I mean, unlike some other countries where experts are actually looked upon suspiciously. I think both in India and Switzerland, there's a lot of respect for expertise. So uh, for students looking uh, to study or, or start their careers in Switzerland, uh, what I would say is that um, Switzerland is very attractive because of the quality of life, but also the fact that it's, it's very professional. There's a lot of respect for, for meritocracy. And most Swiss educational institutions are places of excellence, you know, so, so I think it's a wonderful place to, to study and to start your career.